hello welcome back everyone this reading is going to be for my cancer people cancer sun moon rising venus mercury mars i don't know um this is a timeless reading which means that anytime you come across this reading then it is meant for you at that time this time this reading has no date on it it has no expiration on it if you came across this reading today then this reading is for you today okay cancers we are already pre-shuffled so let's see what you all have going on okay and actually let me get a little let's get cute let's get cute because i had one lit but it went out so you stay on my mind think about it all the time All right, friends. Okay. Cancer. The tower. Oh, my Lord. I got the tower for my sun and my moon. Four of swords. The devil. Ten of swords. Nine of wands. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, now let's get one good shuffle so we can get the clarifiers. Okay. Clarifying the Tower, we have the Two of Cups. Okay. Okay, new relationship. Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Swords. And then we have the Empress, clarified by the Devil. What? We have the King of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Star card, clarified by the Nine of Wands. And then we have the King of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Wands. I'm going to hold you. This is kind of irritating. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. Trust. Romance. Okay, Cancer. And then we have Energy. Energy. Mm, mm, mm. Energy. Finally, we have awakening. Okay. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. We have you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. And then we have get grounded, which says empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Okay. First of all, we have the tower clarified by the two of cups. So um, this could just be talking about um, sudden changes in like a new love thing. You know, um, two of cups is like, yes, there's love there, but there's not really, you know, there's no commitment or anything. This is just like, oh, we just met and we like each other and we're talking and we're getting to know each other. That's what two of cups energy is. So I do think that unexpectedly, maybe someone have may have come into your path um, and you were able to connect with them and it just feels, you know, really new and exciting. You know how new love feels. It feels very like young and like puppy love and stuff like that. So you could have had a new person come into your environment and just show interest in you and you guys are talking and getting to know each other um but for others of you this could be a surprise that you know you start again a start again or start anew with someone that you had already been interested with so um we have the four of swords clarified by the ace of pentacles so i feel like you could have been taking a break from work um, or just taking it easy, you know, maybe you were taking a little break, maybe you were on vacation, maybe you just took a sabbatical, maybe you were just on hiatus, you just took a paid time off or something. So I feel like, you know, that's kind of what's been going on, you know, I, I, I it's, it's like, it's, it's just like very mundane stuff, because I don't feel like there's anything too crazy going on here. This is where it gets interesting, though, because we have the devil card clarified by the empress. So I'm actually going to read on both of these because 
we go together. Tell y'all, we go together. <laughs> That's what that info. That's what that combination gives. Literally, Bay, I love you. You my everything. That's terrible. It says enjoyment of the simple things, sexuality, vitality, and humor. This card has a notorious air and comes with its warnings, but it does not carry a strictly negative message. Here we have the symbol of the devil and two serpents, which serve as scepters of wisdom. In order to find the correct balance as we endure the tests of life, we must find humor and lightness in all things. The less we laugh about our circumstances, the more possessed by them we become. Humor and pleasure help us to gain perspective on the things we go through. However, it is important to not indulge too much in activities which may lead to laziness, apathy, or distraction. Okay, and then what does it say about the Empress? Because, I mean, that kind of told me... It says the eternal mother, yes, we know this, bursting with feminine power and grace. The empress takes nothing and needs nothing but the bounty within her spiritual wealth. She is the archetypal mother possessing maternal wisdom and the desire for the well-being of all. Her fertility extends beyond the ability to produce life. Her very soul is fertile, whole and calming to all who encounter her. Thus, her healing powers are deep. Invoke her energy and call it into yourself. I'm honestly just feeling like you could have a Capricorn person in your life. Um, the devil card represents Capricorn people. So you could have a Capricorn person in your life um, that is coming into your life and they're just making it known and making it shown that, you know, you're the one for me. Like, I really just want to be with you. Um, this could even be marriage for a lot of you. Marriage and engagement. You could be getting proposed to very soon um whoever this person is they could be coming around saying you know what like i know that we haven't you know been on the best of terms or something but i really do feel like we connect well and that you're the one for me and da -da 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 -da, and stuff like that you know but for others of you this could just be you know feeling trapped by your motherly uh duties or your motherly responsibilities or you could just be feeling like you're obsessed with becoming abundant you're obsessed with abundance i mean i don't see what's wrong with that but i mean any obsession is not good for you because it's in uh extreme you know so um it's imbalanced okay so we never want imbalances because they throw us off okay so then we have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the King of Cups. And so this is a huge, you know, ending, transitioning, new beginning. And it says King of Cups. So you could be letting go of someone who is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They do not have to be. This could just be the main man in your life um, or the main woman. Um, and it could be saying that this is going through a shift. This is going through a change um to where it's more spiritually in alignment it's more spiritually balanced um and this can just represent you know i feel like somebody may be making a transition and stepping into their divine masculine energy which is king of cups energy so um then you have the nine of wands clarified by the star cards so the nine of wands is all about protection it's about willing to go to war for what's yours. Like, that's mine. <laughs> you know, you see them, they ready to head up. Head up. You know? And it's clarified by the star. This is about protecting your destiny, Cancer. This is about the things that you know God put here on this earth for you. And, you know, maybe you've been focused on other things for some time. Or maybe you just you know, have had some ego in the past that is like, you know, I'm not really going to focus on this right now. But I feel like in um, coming up and saying, Cancer, this is a time for you to protect what you want, protect what you have, protect your destiny. This could even be this person coming in to do that and saying, you know what, I'm going to protect this. This is, you know. So then you have the Ace of Wands clarified by the King of Swords. And so this is talking about a new beginning, deciding to have a new beginning with someone. And this is not just a new beginning because this is actually starting a business plan or it's actually just the birthing of the thought, of the energy, of the new plan to collaborate with something or someone. 
to do something. So this could be in business or this could be in love or this could be both. So keep that in mind, okay? We're going to go to part two. So 